Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in your Fortnite video and in today's video I want to show you guys the number one setting that you guys should change that is going to make a huge difference on your game It's gonna help you build faster It's gonna help you aim a lot better and just overall It's a really good setting to change and I'm gonna show you guys why you should change that specific setting So definitely stay tuned in the video because this is a setting that everybody needs to change and real quick before we get into the video I have a V book giveaway. I give away 2,000 V bucks every single Friday so if you guys want to take part in this giveaway and win some free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do turn on post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video and when I announce the winners. And lastly, leave a comment down below of either your Xbox Gamer Tag, your PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And lastly, make sure you guys do support me in the item shop. All you guys have to do is go down to the bottom right, click on support a creator, type in creator code YOUNGHUMOR, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop. And alright guys, let's go right to the video. Alright, so in this video, I want to share with you guys the one setting that I think that everybody should change in this game. I think it's going to make a huge difference that's going to help you improve your building your editing and also aiming in this game. So this is a setting that I think everybody should at least try out and give it a look. So going into the settings, the one thing that I think is important, I think everybody should try out is having a different X and Y sensitivity. So having a different horizontal and a different vertical sensitivity. So either having a little bit higher of an X sensitivity or a little bit higher of a Y sensitivity. Obviously, you wouldn't want to go too crazy where you have like one sensitivity way too high. But I would recommend maybe having like a two point difference in between your horizontal and vertical speed. And I want to share with you guys the benefits of playing on both. Why playing on a little bit higher vertical sensitivity could be really OP. And also why playing on a little bit of a higher horizontal sensitivity could be OP. Because when it comes to your settings or at least sensitivity specifically, I think when it comes to the different sensitivities that you have, there's different advantages when it comes to each of the settings. So like for example, if you play on a lower sensitivity, you're going to have the advantage of having a lot more control over your shots. But at the same time, when you do play on a lower sensitivity, it's going to take a little bit longer to turn around. So that could be a advantage and a disadvantage of playing on a low sensitivity. And the opposite could be true on a high sensitivity. So one of the biggest advantages that you have when you play on a little bit higher vertical sensitivity is you're going to be able to place high walls and you're going to be able to place cones above you very fast. So if someone is from above you in that sort of direction, you're going to be you're going to be able to build and edit a lot faster in that vertical mode. Motion, which is very crucial in a lot of aspects in this game so for one example when you're going for a side jump a lot of the times when you're doing a side jump maybe the player's already there or maybe just slightly above you so when you're going for a side jump what you're doing is you're placing a cone and then what you're doing is you're jumping to the side and as soon as you jump to the side you're gonna be placing walls above you as you can see just right here this is what you're gonna do after you go for a side jump and if you play in a high vertical sensitivity or a higher vertical sensitivity you're gonna be able to go for the side jump and then also protect your back very fast and then you continue to ramp out and this is one of the biggest advantages on playing on a high vertical sensitivity is going to be able to place those higher walls and also place those cones much more effectively and also a lot quicker in this game which is going to save you a ton if you're getting third party or if you're just getting shot from above it's going to help you rush those players who are from the higher ground on you so there's other advantages as well but i would say that is single-handedly the best advantage that you have on playing on a little bit higher vertical sensitivity also, another advantage that you can have as well is say you're in a box or you're box fighting other players. If you have a little bit higher vertical sensitivity, it's going to help you if someone wants to build right, you know, right on top of you. Or if someone's jumping in a direction that's almost directly above you where you have to go for a little bit of a flick shot and just that vertical motion. So that's why playing on a little bit higher vertical sensitivity could help you in that regard in box fights, where if someone maybe wants to build over you, so maybe they're placing a ramp, they jump over you really quickly, it's gonna help you go for those vertical shots. So I really like playing on a higher Y sensitivity a lot because it honestly felt pretty comfortable, it felt really smooth, I felt like my builds were really, really nice. So I would recommend trying out this setting as well. And I also wanna explain while playing on a little bit higher X sensitivity, a little bit higher horizontal sensitivity could also be a better advantage for some of you guys because like I said when it comes to the different sensitivities each one has its advantages and also its disadvantages so I want to explain the advantages of playing on a higher x sensitivity as opposed to a higher y sensitivity 
So going into my settings, here I'm going to change the sensitivity on my horizontal speed to a 48% and then my vertical to a 46. So I'm playing on a slightly higher horizontal speed as opposed to the vertical speed, which there is going to be a lot of advantages on playing on a higher horizontal speed. I choose to play on about a 47 and a 46% or sometimes a 46 and a 45%. I play on that slightly higher horizontal sensitivity, and I want to explain why playing on that could be a better advantage for you guys, because there is different advantages between the vertical and horizontal speed. So I want to show you guys some of the biggest advantages that you have when you come to having a slightly higher horizontal. Like I said, I wouldn't go more than maybe like two or three points of a difference. You don't want to play on like a six or seven point difference between your X and Y sensitivity, or it's going to feel really, really weird. When I say different i would say maybe in the range of one to three points i think it's just enough to give you the advantages that you need so one of the biggest advantages that you're going to have with playing on a little bit higher of a horizontal sensitivity is going to be the fact that when it comes to flick shots it's going to be a big advantage for you because you're going to be able to turn left to right much quicker so being able to flick shot a lot faster in this game is going to be very crucial when you're coming out of builds or maybe you're just in a box fight and you need, or maybe you just go for a quick edit and then you need to flick shot the other player playing on a little bit higher of an x sensitivity is going to be the way to go in that regard also, another big advantage as well is when you're playing on a higher X sensitivity, you're going to be able to go in between players much quicker. So if you're playing like duos or squads, or maybe in solos, if there's a lot of players, you're going to be able to go in between player to player much, much quicker because the players that you're going against are usually going to be left to right and using a little bit higher of an X sensitivity is going to be much better when it comes to just going in between players. And having a little bit of boost when it comes to flick shots. So this can be a really good sensitivity to use for rushing. So if you're a very aggressive player, I think playing on just a slightly higher X sensitivity probably is the way to go. I think slightly higher Y sensitivity is also good as well, as I mentioned before when it came to certain builds. But I also think that having a higher X sensitivity is a really good way to go as well. Because when it comes to getting third partied, a lot of the times, I mean, sometimes you have to build above you. But a lot of times you're building left to right. And if you're on just a slightly higher horizontal sensitivity, you're going to be able to place your walls left to right just a little bit quicker than you would before. So that can also be another huge and big advantage of playing on a slightly higher uh, horizontal sensitivity. So there is big advantages in between the two. Which ones you guys like really comes down to your personal preference. But I choose to play it on a slightly hor a slightly bigger horizontal sensitivity just because I get third party literally every single fight. And being able to place the walls... Uh, around me is going to be very crucial and also when it comes to flick shotting because a lot of the times when I'm going when, you, when you're going against really good players in this game and you're playing against try hard players editing is one of the things that's going to separate you from losing your games versus winning so that's why I think it's very important to be able to have a sensitivity that you're very good at editing and also being very good at flick shots and a higher X sensitivity for me is just the way to go but like I said I would I would highly recommend trying out having a little bit a little bit slightly higher of either your X or Y sensitivity because I think everyone in this game has a personal preference like for me I like a little bit lower sensitivities for X and Y and some people like a little bit higher so I just think it just all comes down to your personal preference but I think having a higher Y sensitivity could be a major advantage to a lot of your players and it doesn't really feel awkward in, in any sense when you're playing a little bit higher sometimes you would feel like there'd be inconsistencies but to be honest with you guys it doesn't really feel anything different than what I play on like say a 46 and a 46 if I'm playing on the exact exact same sensitivity it really doesn't feel like I have any more of a learning curve it doesn't feel like it's any harder to play on when you play on different sensitivities because some of you guys who maybe play on the same might think it's kind of awkward but honestly it really just doesn't feel that much different at all and I kind of like the way it feels with a little bit higher ver uh, vertical sensitivity because if you play on a little bit lower horizontal and a bigger vertical, what can happen is your horizontal sensitivity is going to be a little bit lower which can help you aim a lot better in this game just because when you play on a lower sensitivity at least in my opinion that is going to be one of the best ways to improve your aim just because it's you're not going to overcorrect your shots you're going to have a lot more control so being able to play on that little bit lower horizontal or x sensitivity could really help you improve your aim with smgs ars or even shotguns so that's why i think when it comes to what you should change i think it all comes down to personal preference but you have your advantages and disadvantages of both but with that being said that's wrap it up for this video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked 
liked it, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure you guys do hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload. And as well, I do live stream every single day here on this channel at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys do hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when I go live. And with that being said, appreciate you guys watching the video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.